Today we are traveling to the Faroe Islands to explore what it takes to produce a superior quality salmon. We're going to visit almost every part of Becca Frost value chain and experience firsthand what efforts are put into raising salmon and of course we'll bring you guys along. Enjoy. Hello everyone, now we are flying to final destination. Faroe Islands, right? Island. Okay. Can't okay, wait to the scenery that you guys are about to see. Unbelievable. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Landing yes, in the Faroe Islands. Live to Faroe Islands. Everybody say a play. Oh yeah. Landing airways. Oh yeah. Finally here. Cold. It's probably at least uh, yeah. 50 degrees, 40, 50, huh? Very good board. Enjoy. Here with Tano san again. His lovely wife, Jackie. All the way from Toronto. Please, slice. It's already sliced. Oh, Next time. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Take a look at this. Fairies, langostina, scallops. Yep, langostina. And all in all, we are around 30 people here in the plant. It's 320 meters long, 75 meters wide. So it's uh, the longest building in Faroe Islands. Okay. And uh, actually the, the biggest small plant in, uh, in the world. Right. So, yeah. so we take uh, fish eggs in from uh, <coughs> in here. Okay. And um, after that, when it's hatched, it's around 0.17 gram. And uh, after one, uh, and a half year approximately, we have a 500 gram fish. Okay. Yeah. Here we can see our uh, hatching section where the fish eggs uh, enter. Tomorrow we will get around 3 million of new fish eggs. And after three months they are hatched to a little fish of uh, 0.17 grams. This is where um, after the, the hatch, hatching section where we start feeding the, the fish. This fish weighs around 0.17 grams. And after three months, it has obtained a, a weight of around seven grams. 
in these tanks it grows to around 40 grams, 40 50 grams, okay. and then it will be vaccinated uh, through a fully automatic vaccination machine. After that, it will be transferred to bigger tanks, around 500 cubic meters of water inside each tank. When it's around two, 300 grams, it's transferred to. <coughs> Uh, 1200 cubic meters tank where they grow to around 500 grams. So this is uh, one section of uh, the biggest tanks we have. We have 16 such tanks. The volume of each tank is uh, 1300 cubic meters of water and it's around 100,000 fishes inside here, inside each tank. The deep is, uh, is around 6 meters deep. 6 meters, okay. Yeah. And it's uh, 18 meters in diameter. Okay. Because we are reusing all the water, we right. are around 70 or around uh, 97 to 98 percent of the water. We have to clean the water, so we are cleaning it in particle filters, and in bio filters, and in ozone filters, and degassing filters. So when the water passed all those filters, it's uh, ready for reuse. Defending your soul Oh, cow, I'll bleed through five lives It can't be as I go tonight You're amazing, you're contributing to the sushi world you're Yeah, feeding. I have to wait two, two and a half Yeah, well, not that <laughs> long, they're getting bigger here already All right I just got the coffee and so now we are going to top of the mountain. You can see the little antenna there. Can you see it all the way up there? the fish transporting part of the ship. Mm. So this is this is the maneuvering. Right. The main operation. console and when we uh, sail the ship, this is the console and operation station. So if we go back here, then we have uh, the fish transport, uh, or fish handling part. Mm. So uh, when we come to the fish pan, uh, we come alongside, we have these three hoses uh, mm. down here. And uh, that is, uh, we put that into the pan and uh, then we hermetically close the, the cargo hold. We have three cargo holds. One, two, three. And uh, then uh, we, we close it and then start to pump the water out. And the only way in is to uh, through the, these three hoses. So that means we are like a vacuum. Mm. We vacuum the fish on board. Mm. Uh, when we finally sail away from the, from the lo local uh, area, then we close the ship completely. So it's like an aquarium. Mm. And uh, you can see the fish in the fish hole here, swimming. So to, uh, to keep the fish alive until we are at the factory, mm -hmm. we need to, uh, we need to uh, degas the water, take the CO2 out of the water. That's what we do with this uh, three, the boxes here. It's like a, a waterfall, right? Um, so before we put uh, the, this water into the cargo hold again, we put the oxygen inside, inside. so we make, make oxygen on board. Uh, also do to sustain the quality of the fish, we, we will cool it down to about five, five and a half degree on board the ship. 
to uh, the fish calms down, it uses less oxygen, and the, the meat also is, uh, is uh, kept fresher. And we see every fish that comes, but we don't count it. Of course, we have a computer for that. <laughs> yeah, today we have um, maybe about uh, 50,000. 50,000. Sometimes it's close to 70,000. Depends on the average weight of the fish mm -hmm. and how much the factory needs. Yeah, from, you probably got the story about the well boat, how that operation, what they mm -hmm. do uh, during the night. They come in here in the morning and uh, start pumping the fish in at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, that is done without the fish going through any pumps. We pump uh, clean seawater out to the boat, with, which it uses for pressure, pressurizing the holds. And then the, actually the, the fish will swim through the pipe mm -hmm. and into the factory. Uh, the fish enters uh, some swimming pools where we create a counter current uh, towards the fish and the salmon will naturally swim against the current, end up down a chute, uh, get a blow to the head so it's uh, unconscious and then a knife to the gills. Mm -hmm. And then we check the bleeding and take the fish into uh, the, the cooling tanks in the, the far end where we take the temperature for, for the fish uh, from 7 and down to, to yeah, towards 0 degrees. Normally uh, 2 to, to 3 hours in the tank. And then uh, to these people, and they quality assess each uh, individual fish. So we have the quality and then we uh, trace every fish from there and into the box. Get the quality there and then we have some uh, belt uh, scales over there uh, that weigh the fish and measure the length. And then we grate the fish into the gutting machines. The gutting machines open the fish and vacuum out uh, the guts. And then we have a person after each machine uh, checking the cleaning of, of the fish. And they have a vacuum uh, cleaner in the, in the hand and are able to, to take out the rest if there's uh, something left. The timing from when the fish comes in alive uh, to it's uh, in the cooling tanks is around uh, a minute and a half, something like that. And we chill the fish down for an hour and then after leaving the, the cooling tanks and until the fish is on the pallet in ice in, bo in the box it's approximately three minutes wow. so it's, it's a fairly quick. Yeah, quick process and of course uh, main things for us is to uh, make sure that the quality doesn't uh, go down of the fish from when it enters alive until it, it leaves uh, in, in the box so uh, quality, food safety, traceability and sustainability are our key uh, focus areas here in the factory.
think I'm going to frame it. I mean, frame it? I'm so, so <laughs> touched and so happy. I'm, I'm the biggest fan. I know there's millions of fans out there. You're a big fan. But all a of super us fan. Are, are massive fans. And when you meet Hero Son in person, you realize that my impression of him as being a genuine, kind, caring, easygoing mate. And it is, when you meet him in real life, he's exactly that. He's such a fantastic person. Oh, thank so you so much. To yeah. Have had time to meet with him. We would like to thank Backafrost for having us. This experience made us truly value the extensive efforts of salmon raising in the most remote and beautiful part of the world. <laughs>